it again for the video to catch it. Thank you, the white rabbit, for following. Oh, I can't click on that. Ah, oh, crap. Now I have to find a way to follow you. Hold on. Don't think you don't think you can follow me and get away. I'm gonna do it right now. You'll never catch me. Come on, let me follow. Where is the follow button? Instead of my uh Aha. my GPU, so now my GPU There we go. Haha, uh -huh. I planned this. Okay, so um, even though I'm live, give me a second. I need to uh, say that I'm streaming real quick. As soon as my post shows up. Uh, gotta get all the people. I can spell. So we are almost there. Make sure I grab everyone. Even though he already, you know, these two already know, I'm still going to tag them. There we go. Crap. Uh. Oh, it actually shows now. That's wild. Oh, I gotta do this manually now. That's already doing it. Two. Three. Hold up, Shang Tsung. I wasn't ready. Oh. Hello, everyone. I actually just finished as soon as I said that. So we're here for more lore action and logic viruses. I'm so glad my raid notification is working. So I hope everyone is excited for more lore and side stuff. But unlike DJ, I'm still in the original scenario. But this gives me a chance to uh, show off some stuff you might have missed. So I guess to start off, we can uh, talk about some of the differences between 2B and 9S. Which uh, 2B is carrying two weapons, so... 
she has a light and heavy attack, whereas 9S has only light attacks and his hacking. She also can uh, do this little spinning kick. I believe 9S cannot do that. And also, I might have lied to DJ Dark Prime. Like been cut off. Maybe we can get through from underground. I need to check if you actually get it here or not. So to be, those machines out in the desert look just like androids, right? Right. But we androids were modeled after our human creator. So why would machines try to look like us? Hmm. There's no point trying to work out unsolvable problems. I suppose. So just to be sure, I'm going to check because you can actually fish in the sewers. Yeah. I saw movement. Ah, ah. Uh, come on, you know you want it. Yeah, what he said. I'm not the best at covering everything, but I'd like to cover whatever I can for the purpose of the stream. Come on, you know you want it. Huh? Oh, I want it so bad. I know there's something here. And I want to get it. I'm just staring so hard at the screen right now. Just like, the moment that pod sinks into the water, it's mine. But the game is trying to bait me so hard. I'll come back for it. I think the steel pipe might be here, which is the only weapon in the game that you fish for. It's either here or somewhere else later. But now we're back. We're back at Disneyland, guys. First, I want this, though. So I hope you're excited to be back at Disney. Hello and greetings, and welcome to the Near Automata stream. Yes, we're going to set you to balanced. Yep, we in Disney. What the? Well, this is weird. So yes, you can attack everyone here, but they're not going to attack you unless you attack them. Uh, this NPC is important later. If I remember right, I do plan to do this quest, but uh, this flower right here is super important. So keep in mind where that flower is. What do you have? Uh, here's a place where you can buy materials if you need them, like a lot of the common stuff.
All right, because I have 99 of them. Where does this corridor lead? Uh, no, this is not. I have beaten the game. We're getting resistance signals but, uh, DJ room. Dark Prime playing through the game made me want to play through it again. Uh, hello. There we go. All right. Oh, wait, I need to save. I'm sorry. I went too fast. We need a way through. Let's look around for a route we can take. Oh, wait. Let me see. Can I still do the... Oh, yeah. DJ, you missed the chest. It's down here in the, uh... Um, by the stupid, uh, spaceship ride. That's what I meant to say. Oh, Ugh, let's not... I'll be covering as much as I can of the game, from what I remember. These machines are heavily armed. We'll regret it later if we let them escape. So let's take them out. So this is an optional boss fight for something that I would like to collect now instead of later. Ow, 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 ow. Nope. Nope. i just use a large one. They don't have any more turrets. Actually, I'm just gonna kill you because I don't like you. There we go. Yeah, upon killing all of the enemies, you can chop the core in half. What's this? Some kind of crystal? Analysis. It is a core fragment from the machine life form. It is similar in structure to a plant cell. A plant cell? So if you wanted to, you could completely ignore that tank. It will not fight back or anything. But the reward you get's more important later. A nature-loving android died an honorable death in Days of Sand, so you must have died in the desert. What's this? Analysis. It is a device that propels humans on rails at high speeds for the purposes of amusement. It was commonly referred to as a roller coaster. Humans sure are strange creatures. Look how realistic this is, guys. This is how roller coasters work, yeah? You just surf on them? Hey, 2B? Yes? People who know me well usually call me Nines, so... Oh. So what do you think? I lost sight of myself for a second, but more importantly, I should be asking how everyone's doing. Like, how's everyone's, uh, Wednesday going? Pretty sure it's Wednesday. Alert. Multiple 
resistance members detected beneath this room. Yeah, today is Wednesday. Tulane asking mood is zero. Oh no, he's dead now. Dead forever. Hey, I got 20 bucks from that dead body. What do you have? Auto heal one. What do you have? Hey, 20 bucks. I'll take it. So real quick, I'm going to update my chips. Yeah, I wanted to jump across. Time for one of the best segues into the opening of a song, in my opinion, in a game. Don't say anything about a machine like this. Well, time to make a record now. So I hope everyone was in the mood for good music because you're going to get a ton of that in this game. Ah, my chest. I forgot about that move. I forgot how to do it though. Uh, hidden missiles, let's not. Ow. That was my ass. I don't appreciate that. a lot of missiles I'm not a fan also as you can tell I'm hilariously under leveled because we're going way further into the attack pattern So after the health bar vanished, we weren't actually doing damage, it just made me feel good. <laughs> oh, got my legs. So since I am being hacked, I have to stop being hacked, which then the game becomes more like Geometry Warriors. It's trying to hack us. If we take hacking damage, it'll affect our bodies as well. Oh, hey, someone died here. <laughs> to me. Those look like corpses. <laughs> Seriously being attacked with dead androids? Wait, I don't think... To be! I'm detecting black box signals! They are dead. Let me take it's your stuff it. while I, uh, keep fighting. This ends now. Oh, I got an overclock out of it. So those yellow waves 
if you get attacked, this is what happens. Ow. So you want to try and avoid... those as best as possible. Sometimes the temptation of items leads to unblockables where you get hit by a wave immediately after. Ah, oh, crap. Oh crap. Okay. Alert. Saturation attack triggered. Shit. Failure to destroy it quickly may lead to serious damage in memory regions. So, you know, I'm going to try it. How about you help me? Help me fight this boss. So, usually repairing bodies doesn't work. But it seems in the Become as Gods edition, they actually fixed the uh, partner AI. Do insta kit? Well, oh, that was interesting. Well, since I'm dead, uh, was shocked at what happened. We'll go with this. This is near Automata. You missed about the first hour ish. First two hours uh, yesterday. Um, a reckless soldier was shocked at what happened at a place of memories. So this is what happens when you die. So for anyone playing on the Xbox, they can find my dead body somewhere. So, I don't think DJ Dark Prime has died on his end. So, what happens is it's very Dark Souls y. Um, when you die, you lose all your equipped chips and some other stuff. Your body will be marked on the map and it's up to you to get back to your original body and reclaim all your stuff. If you die again, you lose all that stuff. Are we seriously being attacked with dead androids? So this is my dead body. Wait, I don't think to be I'm detecting black box signals. So you get an achievement for that. They dead. They've been turned into weapons. Alright. This ends now. Now it sucks is I have to do that part again. So hopefully we can do it with this time with feeling. Throw the needle. Not a fan. I'm getting hit by stuff. Saturation attack triggered by enemy consciousness data. Failure to destroy it quickly may lead to serious damage in memory regions.
Oh shit, I got hacked. Oh, leave me alone. Okay. Oh, damn it. You hacked me again, you bastard. No, stop that. Oh, shit. Oh, you ain't command grabbing me this time again. I just won't live. Oh boy. Ugh, my legs. Ah, you bastard. Stop it. Android. The enemies are mach are regular machines. Well, alien machines, I should say. Oh, I got hacked again. Stop hacking, mate. Ah, oh, my legs. Oh, I need that. Fuck you. Oops. <laughs> I put my controller down and it starts shaking on the table. Okay, I won this time. Thanks for the assist. Oh, you mean the hacking? No worries. Us scanners are pretty good at that kind of thing. I've got your back anytime. Ugh, I miss save those androids. Ah shit. So the game didn't give it to me. But um that boss we just fought whose name is Simone. Um when Simone's health gets low enough and that robot thing comes out from underneath the dress if you kill that thing it's another uh, machine core and because i killed her before i killed that thing we have to save those androids do we not i'm sorry to be their circuits are fried i think they were only being kept alive by that enemy oh So yeah, I don't get the machine core. I totally forgot that that boss has a very specific way so, um, you need to kill it. What is it? That machine had some pretty weird things to say, huh? It's almost like it had actual emotion. The machines don't have feelings. You said that yourself. Yeah, I... I guess. So we are done at Disney World, for the time being. I don't think I can do this yet, but we're gonna check. Well, that's what your high is. You're not allowed to be emotional because you're soldiers. And on top of that, they're androids. Oh, wait a minute. How'd you die here? Oh, you didn't. That's, uh, we're not going to talk about that.
so, uh, hey DJ, you have a lot more stuff to go back to when you continue again. The basement of the amusement park after you kill Simone. There should be a lot more there now for you to do as opposed to here. Okay, we can put you back to... Oh wait, actually we shouldn't. Not yet. Oh, I can't... Pause. Ugh. Do that again. Because I need to buy some capacity ups. Or storage ups. This thing is awfully verbose for a machine. Could be a trap. Still, we should at least head over there and gather data, right? So now we follow this one. But, thankfully, because we're in range, we can save here. So the nice thing is he waits for you because I want to grab this stuff. Bye bye Disney. seen that before they're sending supplies up from earth to the moon in the bunker there are no spare parts or fuel in space after all huh. yep this sure ain't I'll take that so as we leave Disney so World oh shit the aliens who created them attack the bunker directly they originally came here from outer space, right? Well, there are a few theories about that, but no one knows for sure. Hard to tell what an alien is thinking, you know? Oh, wait. I want that. So out of Disney World and into a new area. Welcome to the Machine Village. They all have white flags. Looks like they really don't want to fight. Hello. Before we begin, there's something you must understand. We are not your enemies. To be. We can't trust anything the machines say. Okay, so I have a fuel filter. So 
So we're gonna save here. I'm gonna check the inbox. I got nothing. So down here is a shortcut. So we don't have to keep cutting through the museum every time we want to go here. We can get into the city ruins if we move that box. So we pull this out of the way, Zelda style. And now we're back in the main overworld. Operator 6022B? <laughs> Time for your regularly scheduled contact. <laughs> oh boy, 60. 2B here. What's wrong? Six oh, please. Oh, I don't know how I'm supposed to go on living. I am definitely not the person to discuss this with. I don't think I can stand spending one more day in this bunker. You leaving would be bad for me, it would affect mission efficiency. Uh, are you saying you need me to be? All Model D combat units require the assistance of an operator. So... To be? That's all. Closing this channel. Again, 6-0, please. <laughs> the Sigma virus spreads, yes. Always. Even in games where it doesn't exist. Oh, you have a quest for me. Ah, let's listen to her problem. Oh, my friends went missing. So if I remember right, I'm going to try and show the other ending, because DJ showed what happened if you tell the truth. But first... Uh, if you have the right stuff, you can up upgrade your pod to do more damage. I forget how to fuse plug-in chips. Well, there should be a handful of quests we can do besides giving Anemone this. The angel will come and consume. Yup, seems correct. Yep, don't worry about that part though, it's fine. So this is a quest we need to do to access the back half of the resistance camp.
Sounds majestic. Have fun making it. The song's probably a near reference. Or something. Well, we're gonna find out once I actually find it. Because we kind of have to find it. Oh, hell, wait, no. Friends in the background. Ugh, I can't talk to them yet. Those two redheads are important. Ugh. to us directly now do you believe we're not a threat your mouth can say anything it wants but you still don't have a heart i suppose that's technically accurate yes well you're free to visit our village whenever you like yes to point out pascal is a boy So I wonder if I can get that weapon early. Or do that rooftop quest. It might be too early for any of this. Well, they refer to... They refer to Pascal as a boy and he all the time. And most people seem to for not realize that because I think his voice actor is a woman so they always assume Pascal's a she when it's not Here, here, and whatnot. Okay, so you can grab this really early. I'll be taking this, yoink. So I have Virtuous Treaty now. Auto use item. And that crap ton of stuff that I cannot pick up. So weapon set one. Are you better? 320, 350, 300, 330. You're not. So we're going to keep Beast Lord for the time being. Well, so far what you missed is that mankind got attacked by aliens and we lost. So the aliens took over the planet and we were sent to the moon. Well, whoever survived. We made the androids to fight them. And the war hasn't been going anywhere. We've kind of been in a stalemate all this time. And uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. I don't want to go there. But I can't remember how to get down.
and that's where we stand. Let's just work out the 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 machine life forms and take Earth back. So now the next destination is back to Pascal's, which means we can also pick up some more side stuff. But in terms of more to this story, there's more to this story for things that you probably didn't even pay attention to. Because a lot already passed that's important to the story. I'm just going to put out there that this series, made by the Yoko Taroverse and by the Madman himself. I see amusement park. And we got a crap ton of quests here. Yeah, Yoko Taro's kind of a madman when it comes to his writing. That's why his games require playing through it far more than one time. So what the plan is, we will go to the amusement park. I believe the music box is there. Music box will be there, and then we can go to Pascal's from there. So we gotta go back to Disney World. Take that. But don't worry, it gets it gets more interesting as we move on. stuff that I will probably need later. So back here. To a shop. Accept my love. Items obtained. Draft bracelet. Cool. it's over there so there's money and we saw this dead body before but because we never took the quest is this the music box she was looking for man this thing is all rusted over. Look, a corpse. You think the box belonged to her? Poor girl died a long time ago by the looks of it. Let's bring this back to her friend. Yeah, because we didn't accept the quest sooner, and we could have. The music box didn't appear over there. But we will turn it in after doing the main story thing and grabbing some side quests. Uh, I need that. Oh, he's got a quest. Oh, wait, no, you're that idiot that I need to give money to. Yeah, he's a side quest that involves, like, 
spending a lot of money on him and you don't get any apparent rewards till after you have spent a lot of money. So I tend to not do that quest till much later. Nah, nothing of interest. What do you have? You have the machine series. So the machine set of weapons come with the ability to get discounts at shops. They're not that great even at level 4. But equipping two of them does make buying stuff cheaper. Now, keep this in mind if you're playing along or just interested. He says he learned how to make weapons from a legendary swordsmith in the forest. We're gonna... We're gonna, you know, deal with that a bit later. Damn, Nine S. Let the boy dream. So I forgot talking to Pascal prevents you from taking the side quests. Whoops. So now we're actually approaching where uh, DJ just finished. And for those wondering what comes next, well, you get to see now. Because uh, we get to deal with another Goliath. Well, hello there, Zoladin. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pit. You didn't lose any lives on the way down. Command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. So now we have to book, because there's a Goliath harassing everything. It's a good thing everyone's too slow to catch me. Oh shit, those are missiles. Can't go, can't take the shortcut. But yeah, this is one of the few remix songs from the original Nier. Which the original song was titled Grandma. The flight units should be on the yep. way to that building. Yep, you, you can call it the underground, yes. But we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. So there's our Goliath. Causing shit. I tripped over a bush. So we're gonna...
run up these steps. I think one more? Yeah, one more. It should be around here. My chest. Swing at me, you coward. Yeah, swing at me, you coward. So this is a Goliath class machine. And he's not a fan of us. Oh, hold on. There, there are dead bodies here? Yo, let me take your stuff though. Ooh, shockwave. How convenient. Another dead body up here, so I'm gonna take his stuff. Oh god, please let me have it. I'm gonna get hit, aren't I? Yup, I sure as shit did. But the dead body healed me on frame one. Fuck you. Let's get to those flight units while we can. Alright, one down. Time to take to the skies. Up. Oh, I found our target. Our eye rose right up into that laser. Not. Oh, I got hit by that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh shit. Have some missiles. Fuck you. Okay, we win. <laughs> Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Just kidding, we're fine. What the? Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? Yep. 
Yep, that's right. They've been beating our ass from under the surface the whole time. Now we've been fighting these guys for millennia, literally. And they were right underneath our noses the whole time. Or just kind of like, what the fuck? Yorha, this is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I use command's data to determine the signal's source and mark it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. So, real quick. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? Uh, this enemy is actually a side quest. If you notice all those plus ones above my head, that's because I have an auto heal. So say hello to Ryu Robot, as I like to call him. So basically how it or how it starts with is you fight him and in between fights so the very first fight before we agreed to help him does not count to point that out um, this fight however does count towards the quest Ah, my face. You hit me from back. Hit me from behind. Hit me in my face. That's fucked up. Ow. Okay, and after that, you beat his ass. And then the funny part is, my health is coming back, as you can see. So every time you beat him, you have to bring him stuff. So yeah, every time you beat him, he will get stronger, but only after you bring him stuff that he asks for. But the nice thing is he kind of like points out, hey, this is where you get it from. So it's kind of helpful if you're looking for stuff for upgrades later. But since I have one, uh, and then you get all of this. So I completed the white belt. 
Let's fight him again. Oh. Yeah, you have to wait a little bit before you can fight him again, even if you have everything he could possibly ask for. But thankfully, there's a quest marker where he is, so it's not like you lose sight of him. Wait, some of, some of these quests are hilarious with their writing, where it's just like the guy trolls you in some way. up the signal under the caved in area let's go check it out hang on to be hmm? this machine is still alive so destroying it maybe we should hold off its main drive has been trashed so there's no way it can attack us and we might be able to learn something interesting if we study it so yeah you can actually talk to this goliath hey Oh, because this enemy's attacking me. So yeah, th this is another side quest, and a lot of people can miss out on this, because you never have to go up on this rock ever. So the first start of it requires, you know, a fetch quest. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. So this is another. I'm still not sure any of this is a good idea. Mm. The more data we have, the better, right? This is another uh, multi-step quest. Oh, hey, he's here. Oh, we're gonna do this real quick. Here's another quest most people might miss because you never have to go up here. This is what I think it is. Hey, you speed star! Hey, get back here. Come here, you coward. There we go. You just fly like straight arrow. So then he points out where the finish line is. Okay, this is the race that I know. And then you have to race him. Let's see if I remember the stupid moose trying to cheat. Yo, the moose is cheating. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. Then you go this way. Analysis. It is a cavern caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a huge cavern beneath the city? Yeah. I think I beat him. I think. You're fast. Oh no, not fast, fast. Okay. So I beat Speed Star the first time. There are harder races than that. Now let me take this uh, dead body that's uh, floating on nothing. I thought of my many friends somewhere very dull. Interesting. Alright, now less distractions. That's a weird looking enemy. 
and we never have to fight them. The ground is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. So now we are underground. Mac OS X forever. Nice. Well, don't mind me. I'm just going to take your stuff. Forbidden River. A ruthless android laughed at the enemy's strength in a world of ended dreams. That sounds like later on. Uh, keep this in mind for later. We can't actually do this yet. Instead, we're going to go in here. This hallway looks pretty old. So yeah, for those that don't know, if you click the left thumbstick, you get a flashlight. Instead of running through in the dark. You can also fish down here if you're trying to catch all the fish in the game. Look at all these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. So yeah, we found an alien thing. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. Hope you're all ready for more lore. Are they dead? To be. Look. Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. Look out! My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They mm, must oh, God, my face. Child. Almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us. But the humans on the moon, now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind. And yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? Oh, my face! What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. You were made... Oh, oh, God. Oh, my health. It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them. In order to drag their secrets forth into the light, surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that. Can you believe this to be? Oh, you want to throw a hand? Let's rock. Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we Ow, who shot me in the back? This here, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? They're gone. The alien 
Ones were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Yep, so this whole time our enemy has been dead all along. Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they finally got it working. Hey, how's it hanging? Hi, jackass. Again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got a stupid transporter up and running, too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. How'd you die? A Craven soldier saw a machine living in junk at the ruins of civilization. Hmm. Why are the machines so hot looking? It was done on purpose. If they're hot, that means you're more obligated to listen to them. Clearly, that's how it works. Uh, the Renegade Yorhamet. Oh, I like this quest. Yorha Betrayers and... Be aware that the following transmission is classified privilege level 5. A group of Yorha fighters deployed to the city ruins have deserted. We need you to take care of them immediately. But don't get yourself hurt, alright? Yorha members deserting? And attacking the resistance no less? Proposal. Rogue Yorha units should be captured and detained in order to keep collateral damage at a minimum. Detained? Easy for you to say. So now a trillion new um, quests have just opened up all throughout the world, as you can see. Um... Yeah, Mysterious Letter. This is part of some quest. Examination. Now we've even got quests and spots we haven't been to yet. Got a bunch in Pascal's village. They should be Disney. Yeah, this is Disney. Um, got a quest at the Resistance Camp. And the Yorha Betrayers. So we have to go to the bunker, but the robots release heat through their bottom, by the way. So booty's at constant 300 degrees. Oh shit, that's spicy. That's some crazy tech. So uh, let's go uh, deal with some betrayers, shall we? Nah, leave me alone though. Because uh, your hub betrayers was a pretty good quest, from what I remember. Oh, guy tripped. And that quest right next to us, I remember what that is. That should be in here. Hello, mister. Alert. 
Signal code detected for missing plug-in chip. Marking approximate location on map. Uh, we don't have time for that. We have to take care of some betrayers first. We have to take them out because it's, you know, our job. So the betrayers should be right down here. Are you nerds hiding? Or are they over here somewhere? I can never remember where they are. Come on, nerds. Come out here and face me. Aren't they supposed to spring out and, like, attack me or some shit? Hello? I'm here, ready to be ambushed. Turning my back to you and stuff. Who's in here? Anyone? Uh, let me save just in case if I talk all this shit and just die instantly. Come on, you cowards, come get your licks in. I'm right here. This is the spot. Has to be. Fight me, you cowards. I want to kick you in. Do I think to put my weapon away? Is that what you want? You want these hands? Oh, I trip. Hmm. It's not activating. Okay. Guess I have to wait on this one. Hey, what's over here? Oh, hey. There's a chest that... I don't remember picking up. I... Oh, it's just health. I guess I can't do that yet. I guess we'll do Marco Polo with guns later. Oh, maybe we have to go to the bunker first. Maybe that's why. I did do this quest after I went to the bunker. Alright. So I guess for now, I'll just wait. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course, your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Okay, so you know what? Well, thank you, Iris, for... sending out the Legion. And as your reward, I'm going to blow this up. So this is a joke ending.
By self-destructing at the bunker, the entire structure ended up exploding in a spectacular fashion. But hey, sure did look pretty from Earth. Somewhere in the depths of space, the commander still floats about with a stern look on her face. Yup. That's ending you. You can tell you got a joke ending when the credits fast forward like that. Most joke endings either involve disobeying an order, killing yourself a certain way, or dying in a specific place. So yeah, we did it. We beat the game. And I mean, it's not wrong because there it is right there, ending you. Yeah, it saves your game every time you get an ending, because, again, there's one ending for every letter of the alphabet. Wait, hold on. I just realized something. Iris, how can you be hosting me if you're going to be streaming among us? How can you host me if I was supposed to host you? What is happening? Or was the Among Us thing not an actual stream and just something you were going to do? I just misinterpret everything as usual. Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. Not like I'm going to go too much longer, probably about half hour-ish. Just let me know when you're ready so I can, like, send everyone over there. Since, again, I'm still testing stuff that I'm not going to talk about. Because it's all super secret. Hey, there you have it. We blew up the bunker. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course, your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. So since we're back at the bunker, I can actually pick up another side quest that I wanted to do. Well, first, whoever is not here, take their stuff. Or 6 -0. Where's my operator? I don't think I've ever talked to her here. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? A thousand bucks this whole time. Operator 6 -0. There we go. Nothing. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. So, yeah. If you go back to the hangar bay after hitting up the bunker... And you talk to, uh, this soldier...
Yeah, Eleven B was one of the people that died in the prologue of Path of Route A. And her her side quest to us is to find her black box. Which I don't recall doing. And I'd like to do it. So there we go, collecting 8 trillion side quests. But for now, we're going to go back. Actually, let's go back to the resistance camp as I figure stuff out. And let my galaxy brain kind of just wind cuz so i think there's a new quest here for us yep Ah, okay. So this is the photograph one. So basically our goal is we have to go to these spots. Hmm. These places look familiar. One looks like the amusement park. One looks like the desert. And one looks like the forest. Let's keep our eyes open next time we're in any of those areas. So it's funny because if you access this quest now, you can't have been to the forest. So him saying this looks familiar is literally impossible. I see Speedstar wants to race again. To be here. The monitoring signal from the new access point has gone silent. I'm sending you the positional data. Please investigate the site as soon as possible. Understood. Ow, my face. Why do you hit so damn hard? Okay, now to sit here and recover a crap ton of health really quickly. Now this is health regeneration. So I believe the plug-in chip that lets me get health back, I think is after six seconds, as long as I don't take damage, I will keep getting health back. Uh, do you want to attack me now? Hello, I am here and ready to be attacked. I absolutely want to get attacked. Do I have to come in from here? Hmm. Still can't get this to trigger. Still not, apparently. There must be something I'm forgetting. Well, since we're here... No, not bad. Might as well. A 
Okay, what's nearby that we can do? Yep. We got the Yorha Betrayers. We'll come back to this, because we will be going back here, and the factory's really out of the way. Oh, wait a minute. I think we go there last. So there's another Yorha Betrayers over here. I think the spot that I was trying to trigger is last. They're from your huh? Alert. Targets are rogue units 22B and 64B. Currently Found them. for detention. Um They conquer us, idiot. Prepare to engage and inform the captain. Uh, got it. You're both currently wanted by command for desertion. Disengage and surrender immediately. Oh. Shut your trap. I hit so hard. Oh, you want to throw hands? I will slap you with these hands of mine. Oh, my chest. Oops, glitch. Yes, they disorder your house, so they need to be. They need to be punished, basically. But they're resisting. The captain is ordering a retreat. Understood. And eventually, they fucking crouching tiger, hidden dragon, jump away. So now that spot's taken care of. So then we go over here. Then we go over here. Because these are the confidential information things. And that's, uh, we can't do that yet. I could race Speed Star, but... Now nah, leave me alone, though. What the hell is this? Alert. Signal code detected for missing plug -ins. Oh. It is likely in the possession of a machine life form. Ow. Oh god, I'm dying. Yeah, I leveled up. Requested plugin ship obtained. Okay, so I believe in this corner. They might be up top, actually. We can continue fighting uh, those uh, deserters as we continue to um, do some side stuff, kind of take a break from the hectic shenanigans of the main story. Oh, 
went too far. So I think they're up on this building. Yep, there they are. Yeah, for whatever reason, uh, using finishers on your high units does not work. So it's like, why you can do them? I don't know if they take the damage for it. As for why they deserted, I'm not sure. I don't think we find out at this point of the quest yet. Ow, ow! Let me start regenerating health. Okay, now we can fight. Yeah, for whatever reason, they don't get launched. feelings. I want to know what the hell hit me there. Where the hell am I? I fucking slid through the building. Oh, why you hit so hard? But yeah, like how quickly they were just like, yeah, detain her. Then they went to destroy her. <laughs> and it's like, hmm. Oh, oh, my feelings. But it takes so long to just whittle her down with bullets.
Ow. Stop hitting me, please. <laughs> Uh, at least I can get all this health back. Now leave me alone. I don't want it. Cowardice always prevails. Yo, my skill is recharging so fast. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm gonna keep throwing my big ass sword at you. That's right, keep beating up on 9S. 9S has more health than me. Ow, my back. Ow, the rest of me. Oh, that shit hurt. You have no health. Why are you so damn swole? Ow, my face. Thank you. units why the hell did they steal from the resistance in the first place oh that's why anemone might know something to be let's find out so not only did they desert they were stealing from our allies So now we need to ask Anemone and be like, yo, why are you robbing the homies? Ask Speedstar, and I don't have what I need to fix you. So let's ask her. I want to at least get two hours in on the stream. We're at about an hour 49. Once I hit about two hours, I'll call it. Because I still have some stuff to fix to make sure that OBS doesn't crash. Hello? Oh, interesting. The resistance base had to load. All right, lady, spill the beans. Huh, so that's the first time you've heard of it, eh? Seems kind of sus to me. So yeah, apparently she has no idea. So it turns out those soldiers didn't actually steal anything. Which means what? Nine S to command. Come in. Operator 210 here. Go ahead. It's about the Yorha soldiers who deserted. Copy that, 9S. We've confirmed their status on this end. No, but I mean. The Resistance says that none of their supplies are actually missing. So what's going on here? I lack access to the data concerning this mission. Huh? The order came from the Commander herself. What? Operator, I don't understand. Be careful, 9S. I have no further information. Huh? Operator? Operator? The hell is that all about? Let's go. But... We're here to fight. That's all. 
So now, Yorha's starting to show a little bit of their sus side. Wait, hello. I don't remember you. Uh, this quote right here, put this on and you can see the whole world. That's, I'm guessing, a reference to Yoko Taro. Um, he always wears a mask similar to this. He doesn't like showing his face. And I think he's also one of those people who's like superstitious of cameras. And then... Uh, these two people right here are the we break the fourth wall kind of stuff. Can I upgrade something? Holy ho ho ho! Why are you so strong? I need a lot of beast type for that. This is a hell of an upgrade. Fang of the Twins. 500. Actually, let's check the story. So for those that don't know, every weapon has a tail to it. And you can see the image of it. The more you upgrade a weapon, the more of the story you learn. Now for this one, two twin souls were sacrificed to twin gods and bound to an unbreakable dual-bladed axe. Whenever nicked or damaged, it would instantly repair itself. The two blades would never part. They would be together for the rest of time. The souls in the blade yearn to be as one, to grow old as one, to fall in love as one. It is why we both love the same person. That's all we have so far. And I don't have much else. For now, at least. I will try to make it a point to grind up materials to get more lore at some point. So we got about five minutes. I think I can finish... The ID, um... The Confidential Intel Quest and then maybe fight um, Ryu Robot a second time and then we can call it for now. Nah, leave me alone though. I want this though. So I need to pick up more Beast Hide, which I think I can actually buy at Disneyland? I think I could buy at the amusement park. So I might have to um, go back to Disney at some point. First things first, I think they're up on the rooftop. Oh, here they are. Oh, my chest. I can do that too. Dying. Stop that shit. The hell out of here. Uh, 
There we go. Requested plugin ship obtained. Alert. The specifications of this plugin ship are unusual. Oh. This chip is a model used exclusively by Yorha units. There is no reason for a non Yorha android to possess it. A Yorha only chip? So now this quest getting a little sus because this guy's asking for chips that he shouldn't have. So it's like, why do you want these chips, good sir? You're not supposed to have them in the first place. Who'd you get them from? Oh, hello. Oh, there's a lot of you. Lay your ass down. It's two. It's three. No, I want that little. I want this tiny bastard. There we go. Now I can focus on you exclusively. Ah, ah. I'm dead. You bastard. Well, at least my dead body's up. Hold on. A reckless soldier. Vowed revenge. On a ground of steel. <laughs> a carefree android vowed revenge on a ground of steel. Okay, so that's two deaths. So now we can't now we have to get revenge. It cannot it cannot be any other way. Get back here. Load me in. Put me in, coach. Now I need to get all my plug-in chips back before I die. I like how this axe counts as a large sword, by the way, if no one noticed that. As soon as 9S shows up. There you are. I need you to be super aggressive from here on out. Where is my dead body? Oh, there it is. Kill them all, Nine S. Yeah, that's why I like ruthless aggression. Oh shit, I didn't grab my dead body. Uh, hello, dead body. There it is. Nah, nah, 
tem melão. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, you're still alive. Not for long, bitch. Ha ha. Alert. Incoming message from command. All units, be on the lookout for a missing Yorha in the city ruins. This unit was in possession of several plug-in chips that contain classified information. I need you to seek out whatever intel you can regarding their current whereabouts and status. Roger. Chips with classified data, is it? So now this guy's even more sus than he was originally. Our first hint was that he was asking for plug-in chips. Second off, he's asking for ones that he shouldn't have access to. And third off, conveniently, one of ours goes missing and has stuff that's classified? Mmm. Mmm, I don't know about this one, Chief. I'm gonna have to tell this man no. Actually, I think I can save. So we can see both outcomes and then decide which one is better. What the hell is it? Are you in here? So we saved. So let's see what happens if we give it to him. So that's what we get. So keep that in mind. This is also how you get gravity. So now, I'm going to reload my save. Now we're going to see what happens if you refuse. Because technically we shouldn't be giving that to him because that's, that's your high information. So we absolutely shouldn't be giving that to him. But I mean, if it's a better reward, then... I mean... What the hell am I? Resistance base. S11B, that's Pascal's. That's the photographs. Oh, did it autosave? I'll be so salty. Because, yeah, here, here's where Ryu Robot is. If I have my bearings right, Ryu Robot should be over here. Yup. So that means the quest should be over here. There, there that thing is. Aha, okay. I lost my bearings for a second. So now what happens if we refuse? to hand over the chips. Okay, so let's see what happens. I'm missing your high unit. So I guess if you hand them over, you just get it. So I think you, I think it's a but thou must. I think if you keep saying no, you can't actually finish the quest. Okay, so I guess, yeah, to finish things off, we'll fight Ryu Robot and then call it quits there.
I didn't expect to die there. Yeah, it's it's a fairly shady quest because we don't know what he's going to do with that information. So now he's got weapons. But now we have 9S being super angry and aggressive. To help us uh, speed this up. Kind of tough, old man. Concerned that I'm like a little under half your level. You're pretty formidable. Okay. Ugh, he's dead. Okay, I want to make sure he wasn't floating. Yep, we need to pay up again. <sighs> Which I think I have. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. Oh, I don't have everything. Oh. All right, so we beat his ass. I think something happens here later. But yeah, let's get back to the save point. Oh, shit. I think what I'll do is I'll go back to the resistance camp. So I don't lose my bearings again. Because from there, I can find just about anywhere. But uh, I think we were fairly productive. We got through... A nice portion of the story. We knocked out two bosses. Three. You're set? Yeah, I'm just about to finish up, actually. So... Are you live? Or are you... Waiting to go live. Do a quick save and a manual save. Okay. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do it for me. Uh, we made good progress. We did a bunch of side quests, including a few that I forgot about that I wanted to do again and show off. And I finally figured out what happens if you uh, say no to that guy. It's just a but thou must. So I'm going to uh, prepare this. I'm gonna mute. This, so it doesn't come through my headset. 
so I can have it ready. Hopefully my stream doesn't explode at the very end. Okay, so you are live. So... Okay. We are done here, and we're going to prepare a raid on one of my friends who's playing Among Us. So stream's over. Thanks everyone for watching, for the raids, the hosts, the follows, and so on and so forth. Uh, what day is today? It's Wednesday. Tomorrow I might continue this. I should be able to finish ending A tomorrow. But uh, for the time being, yeah, we're going to go right here and watch some Among Us action. I want to see what this whole quote-unquote proximity chat is, because I've never heard of it before. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you uh, hopefully tomorrow.